right, I bought this, another soldering kit. This one is an LED uh, lamp. So, this is the base. That would be the on off switch area. That's where the thing sits. And everything that's in it. Right now, it's empty. I have on off switch, there, all that. Just opened it, it came in this box. Just no extra special stuff. This is the lamp part itself. Flexible arm. It's got this to go in there. I gotta put all this together. It came with a 1865 battery. Hopefully, it's good. It is. Does have that little paper stuff on both sides. It claims it, it is a 1200 milliamp hour battery, 18650. Comes all these parts. So, a lot of stuff for the um, plug ins to go into and stuff. Capacitors, that's the on off switch there. Some resistors and stuff. It looks like instructions are in this one. Here's the cover for the LEDs. Those are the LEDs themselves. Well, it's probably the back side of the LEDs. Oh, I don't know. I guess I have to solder it in the LEDs. Okay, but this is the LED board. This is the other circuit board. It is USB C power, uh, USB micro USB powered, USB A to micro USB. So with some wire. So all the LEDs. It's another slow circuit board for something, and some screws and a nut there. Let's see what the instructions look like. Well, mostly it just tells you what everything is. Well, it doesn't really have any instructions, it just gives you a wire diagram. So this is going to be way more difficult than the first two I tried because this doesn't have a whole instructions with it. You just want to figure out where everything is based on labeling and this wire diagram. But I'll put this all together and come back when I'm done. No need to bore you with me actually doing the soldering. Alright. I got all the LEDs uh, mounted here. I went through it and made sure none of them are bridged or anything. And none of them are bridged that I can see. I did find that on this little mat sheet, there is a QR code for the more instructions and something about the store right there. Um, Not sure if I'm gonna bother doing that because I don't want to risk scanning something and get my phone hacked or something. But at, right now I'm going to try to finish this circuit board and this little one and figure out where everything goes. Everything is labeled on here. I'm not sure what these are for yet. Um and I'm not sure how you, how all this stuff is supposed to mount in here for anything. But, uh, 
I will get that stuff done and see what how far I can get with just by this. If I have to look up a video or something, I'll try to find one online. They did have one extra one of these LEDs. And from what I can tell, the negative, according to the little diagram on that, is the side with a flat end right there. And it has a shorter uh, wire connector. Alright, these two that aren't labeled, I got my meter to on ohms, and they both read 9.83 kilo ohms, which means they're 10k resistors, and one 10k goes there, one 10k goes there, the 200 go there, so far all these things are labeled, I know what they are. I'm not sure what goes there yet. I'm pretty sure it's another one, one of those plugs. I'm not 100% what goes here. I'm pretty sure that does. But I'm not sure where this thing goes. So that might go in there. Then that on top of that. I have no idea. But we'll find that out later. Get these resistors in and the two diodes. I do not know. They look like they're exact same, according to that number on this board. It says 1N4148 on both of them. So I'm guessing they're identical. Let's see if I can pick them up. So that little black band on one side or something. I'm guessing that's going to be on that side where that black band is so those will seem to be the exact same thing so that's where they go and it's got to put all the plugs I got to figure out where this goes um, and I need to find out how this gets soldered in I don't know if the long end comes up or the short end comes up same with this one here And got these two plug ins to go on here somewhere. And so far, I seem to have one extra one of these 102 capacitors. I do not see anything on here labeled for that. And this one is says P1. I'm pretty sure that's a plug in. I'm guessing that's where the battery connects to, but I could be wrong. Um, so I'll probably have to look up some instructions, but I'll finish what I can. Alright, well, I found some instructions online. Um, one of these things here had eight uh, pins on it. You're supposed to cut it in half and put it here. Then you take this circuit board that has that little print out on it and you're supposed to put that on top of this. Of course you make sure that that mark there matches the mark on there. Trick is trying to get it on now. Here we go. So, gotta get sort of that in. And I'm guessing this is going on top of that, but I haven't seen that part yet. But, they got all the other pieces in. Except for this one, which I am pretty sure goes here, and you put this board on top of that. All right, I got the board mounted. I used the four of the smallest screws to have this one mounted. 
put it in there. I ran the wire through this and I put the LED strip in there and put four of the long screws to hold that diffuser in. I gotta run, put this wire through here and lock it in place. You can see there's a little like key shape there. So it can only go in one way, or two ways, I guess. Because it holds in with screws too. So to figure out where these two wires get soldered in at, and go from there. The battery plugs in here, right there. That's the micro USB outlet right there. So the batteries want to sit in here somewhere. Plug into this. So that's the, re the battery charging board. It's got to figure out where these two wires solder in it. I think it's right there. Positive and negative right there. It says LED there. And I still don't know where this goes yet. It's not in the instructions yet. Alright. Alright. Everything is together now. It came with one of these for... I have no idea why. There's nothing in the instructions about that. I have an extra LED. And it has one extra... Uh, 102 capacitor. There's a whole bunch of extra screws. I guess if you lose a few, you're fine. You need four for the base, I think. Is it six? Four for the base. So we got like five extra screws there. But basically, I plugged in the battery into this board. That's the battery charging board. And the wire, I saw the wire to those LED spots there. And the potentiometer is plugged in to the wiring plugs. And just got to close this. Screw it in. Turn my light off on my camera. Okay. Let's see. It's on. It works. That's the brightest setting. Pretty bright. Dims. All the way to off. So it works. It has a little ridge right here. You can set the phone here, up here, and let it do that. I don't know why you'd need to. As you can see, four screws up there. This might blind you. Pretty bright. <laughs> Not bad. Um, this cost. Uh, about $23 on Amazon for a self-made lamp here or put together lamp. This uh, thing is nice and flexible so you can do whatever you want with it. So I'll plug this end in here. Oh, 
Okay. There is a light in there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Okay, yeah. So, there's a little red light that comes on. Apparently, it was already mounted into something in there. Did not see that anywhere at all. So, that's definitely nice. It does have a light to let you know it's charging or not. I'm going to have to see if it changes color or not when it's done. We need to find out exactly where that's coming from. Yeah, so there's an LED already on one of the boards that lights up. Okay. Well, nice, tiny little, nice lamp. Very lightweight. Um, it's got that 1200 milli amp hour battery in it so you can run it off the micro USB or just run it off the battery until it, you know you need to recharge it right. it does change color so when it's done charging it turns green Thanks for watching. That's my third time soldering anything. Uh, you know, any circuit boards. Anyway. Um, like and subscribe if you want to. Thank you.